those of you here in the States, happy Independence Day. We celebrated on Sunday. So I've been taking today to uh, make soup with leftovers, hide from all the thunderstorms. So um, those of you not celebrating Independence Day around the world, I decided not to take the day off and come and be with you. So I hope that you have done something for the full moon. So at about 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, yesterday, Monday, um, was the exact time of the full moon. But we are still in the energy and the essence of the full moon. So that gives you an opportunity a couple of days ahead and a couple of days after, um, even more after, to still do something uh, with the full moon. So what is it that you want to do with the full moon? Cleanse. We want to clear things out. So you've got a couple of weeks to clear things out so that you can manifest on the new moon and bring things in. So what is it that you need to bring in? Because you can't unless you remove and make space for it. My full moon story is 42 years ago, pregnant with my first son, my oldest, and um, he was due on July 21st, which was four days after the full moon. So uh, I really expected Friday night to go into labor, and I did not. I went into labor on the 20th. And when I got to the hospital, they were so backed up. It was a birthing center. They were so backed up with women in labor that they left me in a hallway for quite a few hours. So I said to one of the nurses, uh, you know, did you have a lot of babies born on Friday night? She says, oh, no. Three nights after the full moon, that's when we have a lot of babies born. And here I was. And he was born, uh, what was it, uh, four minutes four minutes before his due date on the 21st. That's the last time he was on time, but we're early for anything, but that's okay. Love him anyway. So what are you doing to celebrate that full moon? What kind of, of things can we do? What kind of ceremony can we do? A very simple one, very simple, simple. One, it's not too late to put your crystals out in the in the full moon because it's still pretty full. It's only been not even, you know, 30 hours, whatever, 40, 35 hours, something like that. So put your crystals outside in the in the area of the full moon and allow them to recharge. Uh, what else can we do? We can light a candle write down everything that we need to release and set that intention of releasing. Is it anger? Is it the need to please other people? Is it uh, the need to get the energy to get rid of clutter so that we can get new furniture or bring in something new? We want to get ready to harvest. So when you get ready to harvest, they clean out their barns. You know, they get the uh, freezers, the refrigerators, whatever, cleaned out. You know, in Alaska, where they still whale, the whole village is on that. And what do they do? They clean out their basements of old ice from where they stored the whale uh, meat and oil from the year before. And they all get out onto the beach and they drum and they chant and they sing and they thank the whale for giving itself to feed the village. Okay. So this is what you're doing. You're getting prepared. So I want to say hello to Jenny in Guntersville, Alabama. I'm so happy to have an American. I mean, not that I don't want someone. I just am surprised. I thought you would be out there barbecuing today, Jenny. How are you? Welcome to the show. Um, fine. How are you? How are you? I'm really well. So did you got your hamburgers, hot dogs, and barbecue going today? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> we'll wait until later on. Okay. So Jenny, can uh, how can I help you today? Did you have a question for me? Or would you like me to um, try to connect with a loved one on the other side? 
Um, I would like to try to connect with my little brother that passed away. Did you say older or little? Little. Little brother that passed away. And could I have his name, please? Um, Michael Murray. Okay. And Michael, would you understand Michael was very young when he passed? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, because he shows me as being a child or toddler, or this is the age he's showing me at anyway. Uh, would that be the time of his passing or the time of his of change? Um, no, he um, passed um, when he was in his 30s. Oh, okay. Hold on. So I'm seeing a a a, a toddler, a child, a small boy. Um, your part, no. Um, I had miscarriage. Could you repeat that, please? Um, no, I have had a miscarriage before. It makes sense. Okay. Thank you, Michael. So Michael is letting you know that he has your miscarriage with you. And he says a little boy, he's got that baby with him because that's who presented first. Um, Michael said, uh, oh, okay. Um, okay. So you had the miscarriages prior to Michael passing. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, because that's what he tells me that he that the baby was there first, but that they have connected now. And he says that you will get to raise that baby when you get to the other side. Uh, but he in the meantime, he's being a great uncle to him, um, spending time together. He also shows me grandfather also with them. Your grandfather has passed. Is that correct, Jenny? Yes, both of them have passed. Both of them has passed. He's showing me the one. He makes me feel like he's got this succession of, of the grandfather, him, the baby, uh, and they are, you know, all together with the family. So um, I'm asking them which grandfather. No, he's showing me both. Would you understand your grandfather's being completely different personalities? One, I want to say, is a more down-to-earth type of guy, a little heavier in the belly. And the other one makes me feel That's, that he was a little more... The, yeah, I know that. I know which one you're talking about. That was my papa that uh, lived in, um, up here. I'm sorry? And um, that's my papa, uh, the papa that, that he's talking about um, with the big belly is my dad's dad. Okay, because I, I felt this male going through the male side, like the three males. The other grandfather is there too, but he shows me that he was... He grandfather, you understand that? Yes. Okay, great. They're both there. They're both with your, your brother, Michael. Um, would you understand Michael being um, either not in a relationship or emotionally alone at that time of his passing? No, he was married when he passed. But what about the emotional? Was he becoming emotionally distant? He hasn't shown me how he passed. He just shows me uh, emotionally. So I'm asking him um, either he could not communicate or emotionally he could not communicate with others prior to passing, if you understand that. What that makes me feel like is, is he was not telling people or communicating with how he felt or what was going on with him. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, like he was... He he didn't really tell us like what was going on with him. Like after he had his heart attack or nothing, like he just kept on telling us that he felt tired and all that, but that was it. He never okay. uh, told us anything. Perfect. I understand because that's what he was saying, like distancing himself, not communicating what was going on with him. Um, I don't, I feel he was in denial. He didn't want to admit that there, he was having 
uh, issues. And at his age, he didn't think it would be what took him. So I think everyone yeah. was surprised. I feel everyone was surprised yeah. at his passing. And um, he yeah, said he's sorry, sorry for that. He's sorry that he didn't prepare not just himself, but others for uh, his passing. Okay. Um, and his mom is still here. Is that correct? No, our dad is still here. Our mom passed away. Oh, your mom passed. Okay. Uh, because, hmm, interesting. Because he made me feel like he had more apologies towards the mom for not preparing her. I'm going to take that that he meant his wife then. Um, that I'm interpreting yeah, that correctly. That he didn't prepare himself and her for what was to come. And he, he apologizes to that and asks that you please to send his love to her. And he gives you so much love. Uh, and um, I don't know if there's a farm or something about a new calf, but he's bringing that up. And I just want to say we're out of time. And Jenny, thank you so much for joining us today, taking time out of your holiday celebrations to be with me. And I will see everyone right back here next week. Same time, same stations. And for those celebrating, have a lovely Independence Day.